Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 280. Anti-Anginal Therapy. What is the goal when you're trying to treat angina? The goal in the treatment of angina is to reduce the myocardial oxygen consumption by decreasing one or more of the determinant of the myocardial oxygen consumption, which is the MVO2. Therefore, if you decrease the end diastolic volume, this would mean the heart has to do less work to squeeze all that blood out of the chambers. Also, if you decrease the blood pressure, it also helps the heart not have to use so much oxygen in order to get all that blood out. Also, if you decrease the heart rate, if you decrease the heart rate, it makes sense that the heart now will be doing less work, so the oxygen demand would be decreased. Also, contractility is another factor because then the heart doesn't have to contract so hard, and if it's contracting so hard, it needs more oxygen. So if you decrease contractility, it would also decrease the MVO2. And ejection time is the last thing. If you decrease the ejection time, it's taking less time for the heart to get rid of all that blood. So if you do that, this again will also require lesser oxygen by the heart. Does nitrate affect the preload or does it affect the afterload? Nitrates affect the preload. Do beta blockers affect preload or afterload? Beta blockers affects afterload. Describe how nitrates are used in the treatment of angina by reducing the myocardial oxygen consumption. The way nitrates are used in angina therapy is because they decrease the end diastolic volume, they also decrease the blood pressure, they have a reflex response in contractility, which will increase contractility, so it does not help out there. It also increases the heart rate, and this is also a type of reflex response, so it does not help out there. It decreases the ejection time, and in overall, there would be a decrease in the myocardial oxygen consumption, so it is a drug that can be used in the treatment of angina. Describe how beta blockers are useful in the treatment of angina to decrease the myocardial oxygen consumption. The effect beta blocker has is first of all, it does increase the end diastolic volume. Now the reason for this is because it, uh, beta blocker generally has an effect on the afterload, not really an effect on the preload, therefore it is increasing that end diastolic volume, so it's not really beneficial here. But moving forward, it does decrease the blood pressure, so this is a good thing. It also decreases contractility and heart rate, so these are both good things. But it also has that increasing effect on the ejection time, again for that same reason because Beta blockers have an effect on afterload, not really preload, therefore it does increase that ejection time. But in overall, it does decrease the myocardial oxygen consumption, so overall it is a drug used in the treatment of angina. Describe the effect that nitrates plus beta blocker therapy has on the treatment of angina. When nitrates and beta blockers are used together in the treatment of angina, it does overall have the greatest effect. Now the reason for this is because the nitrate effect counterouts the beta blocker effect on the end diastolic volume, so therefore the net effect would be no change in the end diastolic volume or there could be a decrease in end diastolic volume, so this is a good thing. Second thing would be to decrease the blood pressure, so both of these effects have that, uh, so it does decrease the blood pressure. There would be little to no change in the contractility. The reason for this is because beta blocker decreases contractility, but the reflex response would increase the contractility of nitrate. Therefore, there would be little or no effect on the contractility. There would be a decrease in the heart rate because beta blocker does have a great effect on the heart rate. So therefore, with the use of beta blocker and nitrate together, there would still be a decrease in the heart rate. There would be little or no change in the ejection time because there is two opposite uh, things that are happening. Nitrates decrease ejection time, whereas beta blockers increase it, so there would be little to no change on the ejection time. But overall, when both of these drugs are given together, it does have the greatest effect on reducing the myocardial oxygen consumption. So both of these drugs together is probably the primary therapy in the treatment of angina. Which calcium channel blocker has a similar effect to nitrates? The calcium channel blocker that has similar effect to nitrates is nifedipine. To remember this easily, just remember that nitrate starts with an N and as well as nifedipine also starts with an N. Which calcium channel blocker has an effect similar to beta blockers? The calcium channel blocker that has an effect similar to beta blockers is verapamil. Why is pindolol as well as acebutalol, even though they are beta blockers, why are they contraindicated in angina? The reason pindolol and acebutalol, even though they are beta blockers, they are contraindicated, is because they are also partial beta agonists. So as well as antagonists, they are also agonists. 
so it's contraindicated in angina. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.